You realize I can cut sections out of the video, right? <laughs> That's okay. So, so uh, I wanted to do kind of a supplementary thing on these. I didn't really give a whole lot of info. So, here's the exhaust. So, one major difference that I've noticed between the intakes and the exhaust is the intakes have a additional seal on the top of them. They've got, if you look at it, so these guys have this gap here for the seal to sit in. And yeah, you got your normal valve keeper deal. So, this is the, um, I don't know what they call it, spring cap, whatever. So what it does is it actually, it's obvious, some kind of orientation on those things. When you put your keepers in there, when you pull up on everything, it, it, uh, suctions everything in place I'm guessing to keep oil from running down the stem getting sucked in the intake because the valve guides there's not really a whole lot of um, difference oh no oh, yeah. there's not really a whole lot of difference um, between the fit and these guys and the um, the old ones. You still got some play there. So that gasket must be to keep oil from running down in the intake. But what I don't understand is the um, the exhaust doesn't have that seal. It's it's got this. The, the, the exhaust is the only one with this spinner on it. So I don't know if this is meant to kind of help pump oil along these valve stems and kind of keep it out of the exhaust. I mean, you're going to have positive pressure here pushing your oil back up a little bit but that wasn't wouldn't exactly answer all of our uh, our oil burning um, issues unless maybe there's something goofed with these seals and it was working past I didn't really see any um, I was more looking at you I didn't see any um, signs of oil being sucked in on the intakes so I'm thinking it's a bottom end issue or um, maybe something dealing with these, these little seals. Uh, oh, this as far the as in there. So, yeah, so you can kind of see. Well, I'm, I'm trying oh. to hold it still so that they can see the. I meant the angle. But yeah. You can I see, see a, a little bit of the play in it. I could actually see the play when it was sitting on the bench. But yeah. And then. Oh, yeah. That's another thing, too. Intake exhaust. Don't know quite what the purpose of these two holes is. I don't know whether it's to align something or what. But, yeah. So the intake said two? Yeah, intake said two. So you can kind of see the uh, play that we got going on there. It's quite a bit. And that's on one of the good cylinders. Look at this guy. This is the bad one.
These do. I don't know if that's all of our issue, but these definitely do. Let's see what the exhaust looks like. Another thing that I was going to show is so the, the camera will focus here. Come on. You can do it. There she goes. Look at how thin that uh, the actual valve is right there. Mm hmm. You can see the. Yeah. yeah, it's got some meat on it. It does. That is that is pretty thin for what I'm used to seeing on it on the and intakes. As far as the other intake valves are concerned, that one has a little more meat. That one from over here. That one's got more meat on it yet, so we have a fleeting suspicion that uh, the valves are just the seat, the faces of the valves themselves are worn out from 60 years of running. I can't fathom that though. Yeah, right. Not magnetic. No. No, it's aircraft. It's made out of uh, uh, titanium. Right? Uh -huh. We've got, that's a good one. That's a good cylinder that wasn't Blowing oil out the exhaust. Just for re or, uh, viewer uh, refresher, the two cil center cylinders were completely dead. Um, nothing. We had cleaned the exhaust or cleaned the spark plugs out. We had anti fouler's over the plugs, and no matter what we did, uh, they would foul out within about 30 seconds. Um, I mean, we had those things on it. I mean, you can see how coked up with oil and carbon while John's sitting in there wiggling a valve. So you can kind of see that. it just a little bit. Uh-huh. But what's, uh, what's kind of interesting is you'd think that if the valve, valve guides were gone that you would get abnormal wear on your the face of your valves. You know, because as it's trying to see it, it'd be jiggling around a little bit. But it hasn't done that. Even as it, I haven't made any cleaning these guys up yet, but it's just weird. Some valve, you know, wiggling is normal, but you think know, looking down in the. Uh, whoops, I'm not even. I'm looking at that, not at the screen. So that's what we've else we've come up with. Then uh, valves, worn stems. Half springs are both about the same height. So kind of a good sign. Let's see what the rest of them look like when we get there. Rate, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Oh, John's about ready to kill me for saying that. He's Mr. Cameraman, so, you know. Hey, someone's got to do it. He's got to keep me engaged. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Alright, see you guys tomorrow.